I, I felt like violated. I, I have to say, and I don't use that word lightly. A Montreal nurse at St. Mary's Hospital says when she was leaving work on November 17th, she was threatened by a man posing to be an agent of the Office Québécois de la Langue Française, Quebec's language watchdog known as the OQLF. Taking pictures of signs, of signs and signs, right outside the family medicine clinic, where patients come and go. And I asked him, because I said, do you, work, you know, and he said, yes. And then um, I told him, you know, that's awful. And then he got very aggressive and followed me, screaming and yelling. Uh, I had to take a taxi. I couldn't take the metro. I was questioning enough. 67-year-old Joanne Scullion took her story to Facebook when it happened, saying she filed a police report and was writing a formal complaint to the OQLF. She's been a full-time nurse at St. Mary's Hospital for over 20 years and says she's never seen anything like this. It's just shameful that he's taking pictures at a hospital where we're in COVID, patients go in and out, uh, you may break somebody's confidentiality, not to mention $50 million for inspectors, and we're all doing overtime. Joanne says she was followed by the man who said in French, you will pay. So I'll pay you shy. What, is he going to be waiting for me when I can't leave the hospital? She's working with hospital security, who has footage of the man she says was also filming her from different angles. I'm not the biggest techie in the world, but I know what an iPhone 1 is, you know? And um, I, as I got in the cab and I turned around and I said, that's not OQLF. The OQLF tells City News it hasn't carried out any inspections at St. Mary's Hospital in recent months. In a statement, spokesperson Chantal Bouchard says the agency was able to speak with the lady in question to learn the full story of her testimony. The description of the individual identifies himself as an inspector and of his actions he does not correspond to any member of the staff of the office or to their working methods. The office strongly condemns actions carried out on its behalf without an official mandate as well as any acts of intimidation. My concern is do they have these vigilantes coming and taking pictures and then submitting them to the OQLF? People, anybody can take a picture and send anything? I don't know. Joanne hopes the man will be identified and the OQLF can get to the bottom of it so she can feel safe going to work again. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.